EV stocks have been crashing lately, but one particular stock has really lowballed investor expectations. Sit tight as we tell you all about said stock, but before we do that, subscribe to our channel, One Dollar World, for regular stock market updates. Rivian's journey has been like a roller coaster ride lately. After a big boost in their stock by 40% in December 2023, things took a sharp turn. The start of 2024 wasn't too kind, with their shares falling over 50%. The mood dipped even more when Rivian announced its earnings for the last quarter of 2023. They lost $1.36 per share, but there was a silver lining as their sales doubled to $1.31 billion, which was a bit better than what folks expected. However, the news that Rivian plans to not increase its production in 2024 and will have to say goodbye to 10% of its office team added to the worries. Elon Musk, the boss at Tesla, chimed in with his thoughts, suggesting Rivian might face tough times ahead if they don't change their game plan. He praised their car designs but reminded everyone that making a lot of cars without losing money is the real deal. Rivian, though, is staying hopeful. Their CFO, Claire McDonough, said they've got enough cash to keep things running smoothly till 2025. They're all about being smart with their spending and finding good investment opportunities. The big news from Rivian is about their new model, the R2, which they're planning to launch in March. This SUV is smaller and won't hit your wallet as hard, priced around $40,000. It's also eligible for a nice $7,500 tax credit. Rivian's betting this new model will be a hit especially since it's geared towards a market looking for electric options that don't break the bank. They're planning to start making the R2 in their new Georgia factory in 2026. Even with the recent bumps in the road, Rivet's looking ahead, focusing on making their R2 a standout in the crowded EV market. Rivian wrapped up 2023 on a positive note, with its electric pickup trucks gaining attention, especially after Tesla started delivering its Cybertruck. Baird even picked Rivian as a top pick for 2024, praising its ability to stay in demand despite supply challenges. They felt Rivian was set for a strong year ahead, but 2024 started rocky for Rivian. Deutsche Bank downgraded the stock and reduced its price target, worried about Rivian's sales and profit margins for the year. They expected Rivian to aim for selling 65,000 vehicles. Early in the year, Rivian announced its production and delivery numbers. They made more vehicles than they planned, but didn't quite meet what Wall Street hoped they would deliver. This news caused their stock to drop significantly in January, and it kept sliding in February. Despite the rough start to 2024, Rivian had a great December 2023. Their stock soared by 40% thanks in part to deals with AT&T and Ford. AT&T announced they'd start using Rivian vehicles and provide connectivity for them. Rivian also opened up sales of its electric vans beyond Amazon, a key customer. Ford, on the other hand, cut back on its electric F-150 Lightning production due to changing market demands. This could be good news for Rivian, as it might drive more customers their way. Rivian also had a strong third quarter in 2023, with better than expected revenue and an improved production outlook. Their losses were smaller than before, showing a trend of improvement. The arrival of Tesla's Cybertruck, with its unique design and varying price points, could actually benefit Rivian. Some customers might prefer Rivian's offerings, especially if they're put off by the Cybertruck's design or price changes. So while Rivian faces challenges, there are also opportunities for them to capture more of the market. Enjoying the video so far? Be sure to join our Discord community to connect with other like-minded investors. Talking more about Rivian's downfall. Since Rivian hit the public markets with its big IPO two years ago, it's been quite a wild ride. Market swings and some bumps on their own end, like production snags and supply chain headaches that are troubling the whole car making world, have made things tough. Rivian hasn't been immune to issues, facing recalls and having to backtrack on price hikes. Turning a profit is still a bit down the road for Rivian as they push to make more vehicles. After sharing their third quarter earnings, some analysts trimmed their expectations for Rivian's stock price. Yet Goldman Sachs saw a bit of a brighter side, nudging their price target up a bit hoping Rivian will start showing a clearer path to making money. CFRA's analysts pointed out Rivian's hefty cash burn each quarter and noted the company's still not cranking out cars fast enough to cut costs and get competitive. UBS, jumping into the mix in September 2023, gave Rivian a so-so rating but did hint at a more optimistic future if Rivian can start making some real money on the cars it sells. They flagged that Rivian's probably going to need to find more cash to fuel its growth. Rivian's got a lineup of an electric pickup, an SUV, and vans rolling out of its Illinois plant, which can make 150,000 vehicles a year. They're planning a brief pause in production in 2024 to beef up their R1 line with new tech. 
CEO RJ Scarange has been upfront about how tough the global chip shortage has hit them and how rising costs for essential materials like lithium and nickel are squeezing them even more. Riven's hopeful that making more cars will start to tip the scales towards profit. Adding an interesting twist, Rivian announced a deal in June to tap into Tesla's supercharging network starting in 2024, joining Ford, GM, and others who've made similar moves. Rivian's IPO was a headline grabber, with the company valued at about $77 billion right out of the gate, thanks to a huge fundraising round. But the stock's taken a dive since those early days of high hopes. Despite the ups and downs, Rivian's journey in the electric vehicle race is still one to watch. Amazon has a significant involvement with Rivian, holding a 16.7% stake in the electric vehicle maker. Rivian has been focusing on producing electric vans primarily for Amazon, which has ordered a hefty 100,000 units. Already, around 1,000 of these vans are buzzing around major US cities, making Amazon deliveries greener. In a recent update, Rivian mentioned tweaking its deal with Amazon. This adjustment means Rivian can now also sell its electric vans to other buyers, opening up new business avenues. However, in the last quarter, Rivian noted a dip in deliveries due to the seasonal nature of Amazon's demand, which also led to a decrease in the revenue percentage coming from Amazon, from 30% in one quarter down to 8% in the next. This shift in delivery volumes, especially with the commercial vans that are cheaper to make due to tech updates in 2023, affected Rivian's profit margins. Meanwhile, Amazon isn't putting all its eggs in one basket, and is exploring other partnerships to electrify its fleet like the one with Stellantis, which also involves integrating Amazon software into vehicle dashboards. The EV market is getting more competitive with price cuts from Tesla and others amid economic uncertainties. Rivian, feeling the heat, has had to make tough decisions like laying off part of its battery development team and pausing plans to build electric vans in Europe with Mercedes-Benz. Rivian CEO RJ Scarange emphasizes focusing on consumer and existing commercial businesses to maximize value. The starting prices for Rivian's R1T pickup and R1S SUV are $69,900 and $74,900 respectively before any federal tax credits. However, due to specifics in the tax laws, new Rivian vehicles don't qualify for the full $7,500 EV tax credit but are eligible for a $3,750 credit. In a bid to stay competitive, Rivian adjusted its vehicle prices in 2023, marking a significant increase from the previous prices, highlighting the challenges and strategic shifts the company is navigating in the dynamic EV landscape. Let's talk about Rivian's stock performance. It sounds like Rivian Automotive just went through a pretty rough patch and it's got a lot of folks talking, especially after their latest yearly update. The numbers came out and they were right on par with what experts thought they'd be. Rivian brought in about $4.4 billion, but they also reported a loss of $5.74 for each share. That's a big deal because it gives everyone a clearer picture of where Rivian stands and what might be coming next. So the analysts, who are like the weather forecasters of the stock world, started crunching numbers again. They're now thinking that Rivian might make around $4.91 billion in 2024. That's an 11% jump from what they're making now, which isn't too shabby. But here's the kicker. They also think the company's going to lose a bit less money with losses shrinking to $4.80 per share. However, before these numbers came out, the analysts were a bit more optimistic, expecting more money in the bank and slightly smaller losses. This change of heart from the analysts made a big splash. They dropped their price target for Riven stock by 20% down to $19.42. That's a big deal because it shows they're not as confident as they used to be about Riven's road ahead. But here's something interesting. Not all analysts see things the same way. Some are super bullish, thinking the stock could hit $36, while others are way more cautious with a low target of just $8. This wide range of guesses shows that predicting Rivian's future is pretty tricky, and there's a lot of different opinions out there. Remember that this is not financial advice, and you should always do your own research and make informed investment decisions. That was all for today. Let us know if you think this stock will make you rich or not in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe to our channel, $1 World, for more such penny stock videos, and we will see you in the next one.